Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for May 2018. Generally my readings are love readings. We're just going to see whatever comes up. We're going to get two of these oracle cards, one of these and one of these. They're going to be revealed at the end, unless it flips out and over for you guys to see, then, well, you'll get to see it sooner. Um, just take what resonates and leave the rest. There's no way I can reach every single person, considering we're all at different levels and spaces on our journey, okay? So just take what resonates. This is for the sign of Virgo for the month of May. boy you see it romance lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection is this a month of romance Virgo I hope so I really do Virgo look at it it's I'm starting to get the goosebumps this is like Serenity. That's all I can think of. Complete happiness. Virgo for the month of May. I hope we're going to have to wait on this one. What does Virgo need to know? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever. This is a love reading, so however it resonates. Virgo. Letting go of anxiety, starting to feel better, starting to feel some sort of relief, perhaps. Seeing things sit absolutely clearly. You guys are having, going, you know, it's a clear head. I've got a clear head. I'm seeing things through, you know, very clear lenses. It feels like you've let go of some sort of confusion. You've became clear of something ooh or maybe you've become clear that something isn't working out and you've made a decision that could certainly be the case it looks like there's been some kind of split or there's going to be a split there's going to be a, some kind of breakup perhaps or there has been or there's been some arguments whatever there's going on I feel like whatever's going on here somebody has become clear that they don't want to be stuck. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, still hanging on to something. Damn it. But you may be starting to mend. You may be starting to heal from a situation because this could mean so many things. Maybe you've let go of the denial because this can also mean denial. You may be trying to do, do too much at one time. So if you need to slow down, take time to slow down. If you need to drop something, go ahead and drop it. You don't need to have so much, be so busy all the time. You could be dealing with somebody who's very self-centered, conceited, greedy. This can also signify a lack of confidence or a lack of self-worth or self-esteem. What is going on here? There's a new cycle. There's something good coming your way, Virgo. There is. 
I feel it feels to me like you guys are starting something new. You're starting to heal or mend from a situation that left you unfulfilled. You may have been involved with somebody that you were incompatible with and you've come to that realization and you've made your final decision. You've made a decision to move on. It looks like you're coming out of a period of isolation. You're coming out of that period of focus and you finally made your decision. That's what it looks like to me. And now you just need to release it. Now you just need to drop it. You need to drop something. You need to let go of some of the responsibilities. You don't need to take them all. You don't need to have them all. They're not all yours. I feel like someone is the end of a difficult period. It really, I really feel like it is. Some kind of, you're starting to, things are starting to progress in a positive way. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like there's something new coming in, okay? Because this Wheel of Fortune is upright. This tells me that you guys, the wheel is spinning in your favor. Something is happening that is very positive in your life, and it could have to do with romance. You may be getting over a, or something, you may be going getting over a situation with another person after you've you've really tried to stick it out for quite a while. Some of you are still stuck there. Some of you haven't actually taken the action, although you've made the decision, okay? Some of you haven't actually moved on, okay? Some of you have. Some of you are waiting for the very best moment to move on. Some of you are trying to avoid conflicts, even though your decision's already been made. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're starting to feel better about your decision, right? I mean, that's what it looks like. I think you're really discontent in a relationship. Some of you are, and you've made a decision perhaps to find something that is more compatible, but you were tr still trying to avoid some conflicts here. So I think you're being patient and you're trying to wait for the exact right moment to make your move. You're still stalling. You're absolutely still stalling which is ridiculous, but whatever. I feel like, um, you know, this could be pertain to love or uh, romance or your job because I kind of feel like for some of you, this is your job. You're not happy there. You don't want to stay there. You've made the decision to leave, but you're just waiting for the right moment. Same with love. You're not happy there. You've made the decision to leave and you're not just waiting for the right moment. Whatever it is, it can go both ways. I feel like right now you're trying to just bide your time. You're probably um, trying to gather the resources to free yourself from the situation, whatever it is, and go after what you deserve, okay? Wherever you're at, you're not feeling appreciated, you're, or you're not appreciating the situation, okay? Um, there's a lack of compromise, there's a lack of togetherness, a lack of working together, or even wanting to work together. I feel as though you're you're ready to let go of this situation. I feel like the decision has already been made. I do. And you're starting to feel better about the decision. Yeah, you guys are about ready to move forward. You are. You're about ready to put yourself in the driver's seat and get the hell out of there. Maybe you're just waiting to find the right place. You know, that's what it is. Maybe you've told whoever this is, the job or the partner that I'm done, I'm leaving. As soon as I find a place, I'm out of here. That could be the case. It feels like you guys are headed towards wish fulfillment and you're feeling very hopeful about the future. It's like you're, you're feeling very inspired about your future and now that you've made this decision now you're you're like inspired by the decision you know what I mean it's like oh boy I have this whole world this whole life in front of me and now I get to plan for the future and not knowing that I'm not going to be stuck here any longer I've already I've already spilled the beans and now I'm no longer going to cling to the past even though even though I'm I may be still stuck here I've made the decision to move on because I'm not happy and at least it's no longer stress in me because I've, I've, I've said it. I think that you guys have released some stress, um, maybe by speaking your mind, whatever, because she speaks her mind. Maybe you finally 
said what you needed to say and it's a big huge relief and I feel the relief that you you should be feeling a relief and feeling inspired and hopeful for the future I feel like you guys are making progress and you're headed towards victory and success okay yeah I think there's been some communication there's been some sort of communication that is propelling you forward either and if the communication hasn't happened there's something that is happening very very quickly and moving you forward in the direction of romance and the direction of your happiness of your heart's desire whatever is happening you know there could be a divorce on the horizon there could be some legal issues but i think it's positive i'm sorry i mean maybe some of you won't see it that way but i feel like there is some sort of decision that has been made where you have taken the lead, you've taken the steps, because you're looking for more. And I feel like something is ending. Something is ending because that time is over. That cycle is over. And, you know, I think that you guys have been sacrificing long enough and you've come to the conclusion that this isn't what I want, whatever it is. Yeah, you guys are letting something end. Because I feel like there is something more compatible for you that is a much better offer I think you're receiving or you are giving an offer to someone else that is more feasible more fulfilling but the thing is is you still have to end this cycle first so you may be trapped for a little bit you may be stuck where you're at as you're trying to uh, blend all these changes, you know, with the temperance card, you're trying to blend, you're trying to get things together, you're being patient, you're biding your time, coming up with the resources to start your new journey. So I feel like you are, because you are moving in the right direction, I feel like you are probably being given a new opportunity this is an opportunity from above. This is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new opportunity for, this could be a new partner. This could be a new job, a new career, something big on a tangible level. It could even be a new home. Whatever's happening here, I think that you guys are moving on from a situation. You may have already told somebody you're moving on, and now you're just waiting for the timing to play out. Okay. I feel like something is ending big Okay, with the Four of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the World card, even though it's reversed, the Ace of Pentacles, the Fool card. You guys have made a decision to move on from something and start a new journey. You've decided to take that risk, to um, take that leap of faith. And now you're just waiting for the moment that you can step right over that finish line. So I think this is a really good month. I think there is, you guys are headed towards something that is way, way, way more fulfilling, okay? With the star card and this knight of cups, you're heading towards emotional contentment, okay? It's like, this is really growth, relationship growth, whether it's in a job or in love. You guys are headed towards something that is more fulfilling wow look at the pentacles you guys may be trapped for a minute while you're coming up with the financial resources to move on or you're coming trying to find that perfect job whatever is happening money is holding you back at this time but it feels like you guys have made the decision you have that's what it looks like to me. It looks like you guys are fighting for yourself. You're, you're doing what you need to do. You're taking the lead. You are, have realized that something is unrealistic. It's unfulfilling. It's not. It's dissatisfy, dissatisfying. And you're releasing it. You're letting it go. I'm not going to hold on to this, this situation that doesn't satisfy me anymore. I think that you guys have decided that you, are, you, will, you will be fine. You will be stable and secure in whatever you do. And you're not going to let money hold you back. So I feel like you guys have been insecure in the past. And you've come up with the mindset with her. The mindset to overcome these insecurities and let go of the fears of not having enough materialistically. Assets, finances is what was holding you back from moving on. That's what it looks like to me. And I, it really, I mean, money, 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 money. 
Okay, so money, 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 money. You know, and so I think that definitely finances are an issue here. But with the hey man, you feel, realize I've sacrificed enough. I've sacrificed enough. I can't take none of that shit with me, and I'm only going to live once. So I need to make this decision, and I feel like you guys have made the decision. And this decision, um, you know, you've had to you've had to put your ego aside. You have. You've had to put your ego aside to find that ultimate wish fulfillment. I feel like you were involved in some sort of relationship, whether this is work or a partnership, that wasn't the love that you thought it was going to be. Because this is a lack of love, lack of emotional care, a lack of, of love. Okay, that's what it is. So it feels like you guys have had to, you know, step outside of your ego to find wish fulfillment. And ego is driven by society what society thinks. So I think you guys have basically, you're looking society in the eye and you're saying, no, you're not going to hold me back from my wish fulfillment. I'm going to do what's right for me and hopefully you will accept me. And if you don't, then I don't need you in my life, something like that. Anyway, I feel like you guys are not going to let anybody emotionally blackmail you. Okay, you're not going to live in discontent. You're not going to live in unhappiness. It looks like wherever you are at, there's a lack of passion. There was a lack of growth. There was a, you know, ugh, there was a lack. You were being held back, and you knew you were being held back. Wherever you were at, there was a lot of disappointment. There was. And, it, and, you know, so you guys had to put yourself in that chariot, which is underneath. You had to put yourself in the driver's seat and take the lead to find the love and the passion that you so greatly desire. So I feel like... This is a month of you guys taking the lead in regards to your own life and not letting anybody else drive your ship. So I feel like this is a really good month where you guys finally decide to take action. Because you don't want to be in a commitment that you're not fulfilled in. This is a commitment reversed. I don't want to be in this commitment no more. It's not exciting to me. I'm not in love. And, you know, whoever you're dealing with may be very upset about this. They may be angry. And, you know, I think the fact that you were so, I think many of you were very worried about what, what other people were going to say. This is a judge, but it's reversed, okay? Very, very worried about being judged. I feel like you've come to the point where I don't give a shit if you judge me. This is my life, not yours. I think you guys have come to that conclusion that I am going to go after what I want, what I deserve, what I desire, rather than what you desire. So I feel like this is a big turning point, Virgo, where you guys have made a decision. And you're going to let go of something. You're no longer going to play games. I'm going to find the love that I'm looking for. I'm going to follow my dreams. This is a dreamer. I'm going to follow my dreams. And I feel like this is the month where you guys take that action. You take the next step. To follow your dreams. And I feel like you, you speak about it. You make the plan, and now this is the month where you come up with the resources to do it, the financial resources. I think the only reason you may be still stuck in a situation is because uh, you need to come up with the financial funding for this move. Romance, lavish the one that you love with personal attention and affection. I believe there's a new opportunity in love here for you guys as well. If you're single, there is. Or even if, whatever. I'm not even gonna, I don't care what's going on in the couples. I mean, I do, but you know what I'm saying. There's a new opportunity for love. There is a love here. 
There is. With the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups, this is the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups, there's an offer of romance here, and there is romance. And I feel like you are headed in the direction of your heart's desire very quickly. With that Eight of Wands and the Chariot, there could be somebody approaching you very quickly, or you are approaching them, and you are not going to deny it. I'm not going to deny this love I feel. So I do feel like there's an undeniable connection here this month that is destiny. Third chakra. This is destiny. This is the destiny card. Third chakra. <laughs> these cards. Chakra. Archangel. Chamuel. 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 That's what I say. Anyway. This is the solar plexus chakra. This is I can. I have the power. I have the confidence. And I have the self-esteem. I can do this. I can. Follow my destiny to romance. So this is a beautiful month. Whether this is job or romance. Whatever is happening is leading you. To happiness, wish fulfillment, and beautiful, good, good things. When you get the Wheel of Fortune, this means good luck is on its way. You're about to start a new chapter in your life. You're about to change your course. You're about to change your path. And it's destined to happen. And you're not fighting it because it's not reversed. You're the leader. Anyway, I feel like you guys are headed very, very quickly towards victory and success, perhaps with a new love. Talk to you later.